Hey guys, what's up? It's Noah here from yourappleplays.com. This is a review that I should have done a couple weeks back, but I was busy this long with um, other reviews and just um, other stuff to do. Um, it's another Mac App Store review. Um, this is a application that if you want to make your own website but don't want to pay somebody to do it, or um, you do not have the knowledge to use Dreamweaver, uh, this is perfect. It's called Rapid Weaver. I believe it is. Oh, man. Let me see. I have to take a guess. Let me see how much here. Way cheaper than, um, way, way, way cheaper than, um, Dreamweaver. Eighty bucks, so yeah, definitely better than a couple thousand, you know. Okay, so what? It's very easy, very simple. Um, here over on the side are your pages. Um, you have your resources, which is pretty much an assets folder where you would drag stuff in, and I'd pro I'll probably be doing uh, more reviews on this um, application just because there's so many features that you can go into, especially in web design. Web design is almost infinite. Uh, so up here in the file, you have, you know, all your, like, publish, save, blah, 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 formatting, you know, all of this stuff. Um, now, if I'd hit a new page, you have um, a couple things to choose from um, that are already pre-set up. You have contact form, blog, file sharing, um, off-site page, um, you can have code, you know, all simple stuff that you could find on a web page. Um, so let's see. Let me uh, add something that I don't have. Um, new file sharing. Okay. Um, I'll name it um, Twitter because I actually just finished doing a Photoshop of for our new Twitter background. Um, so if I open add a resource it's on my desktop just drag that and I'll drag this in for the download um, first I gotta add one okay so file source okay so now if I do the um, what if I look at it um, if I click that it would automatically download okay so this is the what it looks like they have different things that you can pre-choose um, so this is a site that I made previous um, this is pretty much just our YouTube description that I posted in here um, I have couple YouTube videos or maybe just one that was the um, last review video that I did before I did this this would be an external link which would link to your appleplays.com and then a contact us where it automatically generates a nice looking form to uh, send to um, right there and you can add whatever you want so if I would be able to preview this, um, okay, yeah, here, and then you can change the title, uh, your slogan, footer, email address, the web address, um, you know, the fav icon, web clip, site logo, it goes on and on and on, you can change everything. Um, but it's in an interface easier than Dreamweaver. Um, so. Here we go. Preview in Safari. Sweet. Okay, yeah, that's not working right. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I will actually upload this to your Apple Place. Um... It'll be in a subdomain. Um, I did try to make one before, but I believe it didn't really work 
quite too well. Yes, okay. Okay, so it's uploading the website right now, which depending on how many images you have and pages, graphics, it could take a while. Okay, so let me go to that and see if it works. Okay, so obviously not. Let me see if I can just export the site. Just make it the desktop. Okay, all right, let me minimize this and this. Oh God, okay. Uh, okay, that's a lot of stuff. As you can see, web designing isn't all hyped up to what it's what it looks like it is. Very difficult and kind of annoying in some cases like this. Okay, now. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. <clears throat> all right, let me go back to the home page. Um, obviously, all the information that I have is in there. Um, if I go to Twitter, click that. Boom, opens up the image that we have. YouTube videos. Now, you see it did kind of cut off there. That is only because um, it was, yeah, not right. And obviously the link isn't correct uh, because it's not showing up. I'll have to fix that later. Um, there's the external site, and I linked it to your appleplays.com. So it'll start loading that. Okay. And then the contact. So let's try this. Now, obviously, that needs to be worked out, but I'm not too worried about it since it's just a demonstration. Um, but if I click Contact Me, it opened up Mail here with, um, that's not even the right, that's not even the right um, email address. Okay, yeah, I should have looked in this a little bit more than I did, but I was kind of rushing. But um, definitely real easy, especially if you want to change stuff. Um, it doesn't take that hard. You just hit Themes. Uh, you can look through here. Whatever one looks nice. Yeah, this Bravo one here. 
then that's what it would change to look like, which I actually kind of like that. And I'll make a folder this time. Get rid of all this. Export. Okay. Desktop. Untitled. Oh, that was the wrong site. It's called Untitled Folder. Okay. Exporting, boom, boom, boom. Filezilla up here. Open this folder. Drag and drop this back in. go here refresh and you see that's simple so definitely if you want to make a website this is the way to go um, that's all I have for you guys today for this review um, I might be doing a little couple tutorials on how to use this if you guys want it uh, send me a message or email me at install at your appleplays.com and you know what whatever you would want to see like if you want to for example add a title in you know add a page or something like that um, so definitely let me know and that's it so I will see you guys later bye